Uh, we should collaborate to make sure that we create a sustainable shipping and that we fulfill all our um, environmental goals. It's true, Dorotheo um, is constantly developing new solutions and sustainability is, uh, is a major goal for us. We make sure to work with our customers um, to ensure that they're well on their sustainability journey and, and make a positive impact to the environment as well. Um, some of our solutions have to do with monitoring and optimizing fit performance. Uh, we gather data from uh, sensors and, and other ship systems uh, to make sure that we uh, track fuel consumption, we track emissions and other um, ship operations. Uh, we also have solutions on uh, predictive maintenance, which are really important for uh, shipping companies. And, and of course, uh, solutions on, on compliance and reporting. That's something very important. And with all the regulations that have uh, already uh, come into effect or coming into effect, it's very important for our customers to be able to report in, in a way that is sustainable for them, uh, but also efficient. And of course, let's not forget the, the power of communications and collaboration. Um, Dodotheo uh, provides connectivity solutions and through this connectivity is the way that we um, create and optimize our digital solutions for, for our customers. As I mentioned before, um, this is a, a two-way discussion. Uh, we always sit down with the ship operators and make sure we understand their needs when it comes to their um, fleet performance, but also regulatory requirements. I think um, what we should be looking at is uh, circular economy. That's very interesting to see. We see it in other industries right now, like manufacturing, and I think it will come into shipping as well. And also uh, life cycle economy. And I don't mean the li life cycle of future fuels, but I'm talking about uh, the operations of the whole ship. Um, we are talking about how scope three emissions um, affect that and also what happens with shipbuilding or the afterlife of equipment. We see many manufacturers now um, asking questions about that. Circular economy is really based on data and I believe that the shipping companies that have this data uh, will be able to get the really big contracts that they need going forward. Um, and another aspect that I would like to mention is collaboration and knowledge sharing. Um, this is not something that um, we have been very known to do within the maritime sector. The shipping industry stakeholders should all cooperate together, uh, shipping companies together with service providers, together with authorities and NGOs. Uh, we should collaborate to make sure that we create a sustainable shipping and that we fulfill all our um, environmental goals. Well, we have been in this region for a number of years and we have created solid um, and very good corporations with companies here. Uh, we do see it as an uh, up and coming region when it comes to maritime. We don't think uh, the region has anything to be jealous of other uh, maritime hubs around the world. Um, we see that this is a vibrant maritime community and very focused on uh, technology, and on um, advanced operations. And this is really something that excites us as a group of companies as well, uh, because we're able to cooperate with our partners here, come up with new ideas and, and hopefully be able to put them in, in practice as well. So that's why I believe that um, they have a lot to offer in the future.